Hello, welcome to a lesson in integrated science for SHS1. Today, we are going to discuss the topic air movement. The air around us moves, and there are causes to this movement which we need to understand and be able to understand why there are winds and different types of disasters that go on around us. Let us begin by looking at our objectives for today's lesson. After going through this lesson, you should be able to explain convectional currents and the formation of land and sea breezes. You should also be able to explain the effects of the various types of air masses on the environment. The various types of air masses must also be identified. You should also be able to describe the pattern of movement of air masses and describe the effects as such. Let us now look at the atmosphere which surrounds us and what it implies. The atmosphere is made up of five layers of gases around us. So when you hear of the atmosphere uh, around us, it is actually in layers. And these layers are the troposphere, that is the one immediately around us, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, the thermosphere, and the exosphere. So these are the five layers of the atmosphere that is around us. Note that what we call the atmosphere is the expanse between the land and the space. We begin by looking at the first layer and its characteristics. The first layer is the troposphere, it's the lowest layer. And it makes three quarters of the Earth's atmospheric mass. So the atmospheric mass that sits on the surface of the Earth, the troposphere makes three quarters of it, of the, the total air mass that you have around. And then the depth rises between 17 kilometers at the equator and 7 kilometers at the poles. You shouldn't worry if you don't know what the equator is and uh, what the poles are. We will discuss them as we move along. But note that this troposphere is very, very wide. 17 kilometers uh, maximum, that is near the equator, and 7 kilometers uh, minimum near the poles. And it is a layer within which the Earth's terrestrial weather develops. So the weather that we talk about in the Earth, we can say that it develops in the troposphere. 